All right, just uh, starting to fill up an Eastwood sandbag here. And I started off by using a little plastic container, putting into a transmission funnel. And it's going to take quite a while. Bag is uh, fairly large. Got a sack of uh, dry sand. Make sure it's dry, otherwise it's not going to pour. And uh, in this case, gravity is definitely your friend. So you just have to hold the funnel, tap the bag a bit. And it just flows into the uh, funnel. Still time consuming, but at least you don't have to work hard. And I found I was spilling quite a bit of sand when I was trying to use the plastic container as well. So, uh, okay, sometimes it's easy. If you uh, happen to have a table kicking around and you need a funnel that fits into the bag, this one's got a fairly small uh, opening in the bag. And it looks like it's going to take quite a few pounds of sand there to fill up this thing. So anyway, it'll uh, stop in when I'm just about done. Alright, so I got about uh, 30 pounds of sand in the bag now. And it's, uh, I don't know if it's 4 inches thick. I could put some more in it, but then it would look like a ball more than a, a flat hammering surface. So if you are hoping to find a video on how to make sandbags because your house is flooding, probably watched the wrong one. This is for panel beating. So this, like I said, this is the Eastwood bag. I'll just read you the name of it. So it's a 28030 panel beater sandbag. You know, it doesn't really say what uh, the volume of it is. So, uh, like I said, buy a good bag of dry sand and you can just pour it in using a, a transmission funnel like that. If you got a wet clump in it, it's just going to pile up in there and you're going to be in trouble to have to throw it on the ground. I did get a bit of wet uh, sand in there, so like I said, I just toss it out. So uh, there you have it.